All right guys, welcome back to another video here. So I got a little bit of a problem. So as you can tell from the title of the video, we're gonna be doing a truck camper build and this is gonna be the part one, just getting the camper shell prepared and ready. Here's the thing is I bought this camper shell here and you know, I started working on it. I'm gonna bed line it. I was gonna bed line it, all that stuff. It just needed a rear window. Um, I got it so cheap I couldn't pass it up. Um, then I saw another one pop up that had a door. It was pretty much ready to go. A lot nicer and I ended up picking it up yesterday. So now I have two truck caps. I gotta get rid of this one, but uh, the other one's on my truck right now. I just picked it up last night, but it's uh, pretty damn dirty. So I'm gonna pull it out here and uh, we'll clean it up here. Let me just show you what I'm talking about. See what I mean? Look at all the junk on here. This side was a, next to their house, so all the pine needles and stuff kind of fell in there. But it's a pretty nice cap. It's got a, it's just really dirty, you know? It's got, this side is not as bad, but it is definitely not a color match. So, but everything's there. It's, uh, she only had it on her truck for a few years and then it just sat. So it's carpet lined. Yeah, let's just get this thing cleaned up and uh, get a better look at it, talk about what we're gonna do. So just got it all vacuumed. It looks pretty good. I think I might actually wash it once I get it off the truck to paint it a couple days before and just kind of rinse this carpet in here. It's been sitting outside for a while. Check it out. Nice and shiny. Nice and clean. All right, so I've gone ahead and popped out my brake light. So I'm gonna replace it anyway. I need to, I needed to pull it off so I could get in there and, and sand that and paint that. But uh, I popped it out, I'm gonna replace it. I'm not even sure if it works. I gotta pull off these. Uh, I'd rather not paint over those if I don't have to. I don't know if I can reuse them or not. I'll try to. And then I also, I'm pulling off these accent pieces because they're just held on with like sticky tape like that. And it covers up a lot of a lot of that corner there that I need to paint. So we're pulling them off and we'll put them back on with 3M tape later on. Right now I gotta sand all this. Gotta kinda scuff the paint so we can prep it for the Raptor liner that we're gonna do. And if you guys haven't seen this stuff before, you can buy it. I'll link it down in the description below. It read from Amazon. It's Raptor liner. The whole kit comes with a spray gun like this. Hook right up to your air compressor and uh, it's pretty easy. I bought this regulator right at Harbor Freight for pretty cheap. I'll link that down in the description below too, just so you can get the right air pressure. And uh, yeah, you just mix two parts and spray it. So first thing we gotta do, it says we gotta scuff this up. quite a bit of that but now right, what I gotta do is tape off these windows and hand sand all of this stuff and then just kind of spot spot sand a lot of the stuff I couldn't get I can't really get any of this with the uh, palm sander so I gotta do that by hand won't be that bad I just gotta tape all this off so I'm into the trim here Took a little while to get all that. I was pretty particular and really getting everything nice and sanded down. I probably didn't need to do that thorough of a job, but I did. What I gotta do is I bought some of these plastic drop cloths here. I wanna put some down on the floor underneath, then we'll wipe down this cap with some paint thinner and uh, get ready to paint it. So stick around. Uh, 
right now we're just gonna tape off these windows. So I'm gonna do that and get back to you. It's all taped up as you can see. We did all the windows and everything. And I just sprayed it off one last time with some air. And now we're gonna mix up the paint. So I got the kit that I'll link down in the description below. It comes with four of these. Fill up to this line with the hardener, which is in here. Mix it into this bottle, shake it, and then you just spray it. And it says to spray it anywhere from 40 to 60 PSI. But a lot of guys said to spray it at like 80. It gets a little bit finer particles. And then we have to let it uh, flash off for an hour, come back, hit it with a second coat, and then we should be done. So, a little nervous, but uh, let's go ahead and do this. I'm gonna read the meniscus here. No turning back now. Right, so I'm doing round two here. I might have to actually use two bottles. I didn't finish that last little bit. I want to make sure we got full coverage. So we'll uh, spray this out and then we'll check it out later. Okay, it's done. I got to get out of here. All right, guys. So I just took the tape off. That's what we got for a finish there. Man, this looks so friggin' good. It's hard to believe that I did that. So obviously we're gonna put the accent pieces back on, but we're gonna let it dry for a day at least before we even do that. We're supposed to let it dry for at least five days, maybe even a week. So we're gonna let it dry quite a while, a few days before we do anything else. But you do have to take the masking tape off like after you do that second, have to do that second coat. So that's what we did. It looks great. Super happy how that came out. Obviously got to clean up the windows and stuff. There's a bunch of dust on there from when we sanded it, but man, that looks way better than I thought it was gonna. So this just came in the mail today. This is the roof rack for the cap. It's made by Vantech. Uh, you can get it on Amazon. I'm gonna link it down in the description below if anyone is interested. So, uh, there's no track system on this cap. I'm gonna have to just drill holes where I want it and bolt it through the underside. Just put some silicone around there. Hopefully it doesn't leak and uh, should be good to go. Also, I should add that the, one of the reasons I really wanted this rack over some of the others, not only was the height you know, an issue, but this whole thing is made of aluminum, so the brackets, the um, top pieces are aluminum. It's not going to rust out on me, and it's, it's really lightweight. Uh, I might have to bend the brackets a little bit to get them to line up straight because this roof is a little bit curved. Shouldn't be a problem in the vise. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna go ahead and mount these brackets up. I know, I don't know if this is really boring for you guys or not, but I'm gonna do it real quick. You just clean the bottom off and put these foam strips on there that they provide you. And then what I've been doing is just kind of feeling where that mounting hole is right there. Taking a razor blade, just making one slit in it. Kind of seals around the bolt, but we're also gonna use some black silicone to go around the hole here before we mount it up. And I got black to kind of match. Whoa, okay. That came out interesting. That's probably way too much. Not too bad. So just like everything else that we do, so something had to be modified. But it wasn't that big of a deal. I wish I would have known that beforehand so I could have had these ready. But these brackets that go underneath, for some reason these holes are short or wider than the holes that are on the brackets when you put the bolts down through the holes don't even line up so i had to take a dremel and kind of widen this out some to be able to fit up in there i mean i got it it's just pain in the ass that's what we're looking at there so it's bolted right down through they want you to put this uh rubber piece in this channel um to go all the way across and i think that's actually what helps it get secured to these clamps it kind of pinches that so I'm gonna try to work this the whole length of that here and that way if we ever throw something up here it doesn't get all scarred up either they give you these little rubberized caps here to go over the end so you don't get hung up and cut on these sharp edges 
and you just kind of work them on there. They're pretty snug fit. Boom, just like that. All right, so we got those mounted all up. They look really good, actually way better than I expected for the price of them and everything. They sit about five inches off the top of the cap here, so that should be good. So there's only a couple more things left to do. I got the brake light here that I need to replace, which I've already bought. This is the light we got. It's smoke black LEDs. It's gonna look pretty sweet with the black cap. I silicone this bottom edge and around the wire. And then when I'm done drying that, I'm gonna flex seal the top seams. I'm gonna tape it off so it's a real narrow strip. I'm gonna flex seal it just so I don't get any condensation moisture in there. Usually those cheap brake lights like that always get condensation in them and you just gotta do whatever you can do to try to seal all that up beforehand. I'm gonna replace the seal on the bottom of this. I will link that in the description below. I'm just waiting for that to show up. And then put our trim pieces back on, which I think we'll do that right now. And then we'll put some screens in it too, some new screens, so. All right guys, the trim pieces are back on. That wasn't too hard, just a lot of cutting. I have the uh, 3M tape and stuff, sticking it all on there. So this is the stuff that I got. It's got, uh, it's made for small insects, so it's got a real tight weave pattern there. Figured it'd be better for camping in and stuff, so that's what I'm gonna replace these screens with right now. I don't need to show you guys how to do this. I'm just gonna start working on it. Holy smokes, that was not fun. You can see I got it, it's nice and tight now, so just gonna trim up these pieces and <laughs> took me a while. I had to go dig out the old spine tool because I couldn't do it with a screwdriver, but uh, we got her done. And really this is the last thing besides putting that tail light in is putting in this seal all along the bottom. The seal that's on it is wasn't very good anyways, and it's all compacted and stuff, so you can see the shape of that stuff, how it looks. It's a nice thick seal that should compress down, make a nice watertight seal on the bottom of that cap. Cap's ready to go on the truck, so I can't really put it on myself. I gotta wait for someone to come help me. While I'm waiting, I'm gonna do a few modifications that I probably would do later on. This one is gonna be a bug screen for the front window facing the cab of the truck. Basically, I've cut out a screen a little bit bigger than that window. I'm gonna put Gorilla Tape around the edges. I saw this from another YouTuber. Seemed like a pretty good idea. So I'm gonna try it myself. And it will basically just Velcro on to inside there. So we'll just get all the edges done up like this and then we can stick some Velcro on there. All right, so there's my window frame basically. Um, I've already put Velcro on the inside. So now all I have to do is put the hook Velcro onto here and then it should be all set to go. So I'll just go ahead and do that. I just got the 3M stuff here. You can see I've got Velcro all along the sides here and I did that just a minute ago. And the reason I did this is because I think some nights I'm gonna wanna have this open when I'm sleeping in here. Give it a little bit more air, especially if it's raining. It might not get as much rain in from this window as it would from the sides. Make sure it's nice and tight on that Velcro. All the way down. And there we go, we've got a screen on there. And then when we're ready to take it off, it just pulls right off. All right, so I just went ahead and stuck this stuff right along the front edge of the truck here where the cap's gonna sit. So I got somebody coming over to help me put the cap on and we'll get it right on and show you guys what it looks like. So I just installed this tailgate seal here. I'll link this down in the description below too. It works really, really well. It works on multiple brands of tailgates and I even show you how to install it here. It's right on Amazon, I'll link it. But this is what I did. I had some pretty big gaps in here and I just want to keep the bugs out mostly and you know some dust and dirt from getting in there when I'm driving so uh, now when I close that up and now when I close it up it's a pretty tight seal the only bit we got a little bit of light showing right there but way better than it was there was a big gap I could stick my finger through there before so I don't need it completely airtight but it's gonna help it a lot all right guys so the build is completely done about to reveal it to you guys it came out awesome. I got a few more little things I'm gonna do, but for all purposes, it's done. And I can't wait to start using it, so check it out. Here we go. So here it is, guys. Check it out. It came out so good. The black really ties in well with the black wheels, the racks, the other black accessories that I kind of have on here. So that Raptor liner worked awesome. I'll show you guys the finish on this a little bit better here. It's 
honestly perfect. We got the Vantech roof rack. I just used some U-bolts. I'm probably gonna chop those off as a finishing touch up there. So you can see we got the rod case up here. This is the ultimate rod case. Fully aluminum, holds four fly rods, 11 feet long. And I have a separate video on this rod case if you wanna check it out more in detail. I have a separate video on that. I'll link it down. I'll have it in the end cards for you guys to check out. But man, this cap came out so good. I honestly can't even find one flaw with that Raptor liner that we did. Uh, the seal we put on there sealed up nice and tight on the bottom. The roof rack looks great. It's just going to be sweet. What, one thing I did have to do with this is I couldn't really go too much higher. I can't fit in my garage door, so this had to sit down a little bit. So one thing that happens is when we flip the door up, it will hit that, but it's high enough so I can still stand under it. And I made it hit the aluminum bar there instead of the glass. And I think all I'm going to do is put on a foam strip right here. So when I flip that up, it's not going to be, you know, getting into that, marring the paint up at all. But brake light, as you can see, doesn't exactly fit there. It's roughly the same shape. It looks actually really good anyways, the way it smoked out like that. I tied it all in, tested it the first time. It worked. Couldn't believe that. Not much of an electrician, but we got it first try. All right guys, so thanks for watching the video. This was a ton of fun building this camper out and painting it and get it all ready to go for the season. And uh, just remember that this is the first video of this series. The second video that we do is gonna be building out the actual camper part of this. So we're gonna do a bed, a slide out, a few other stuff I'm not gonna tell you just yet. You have to stick around and check that out. It's gonna be pretty cool. Um, again, I do have to leave this. This is my daily driver, so I do have to leave this sort of functional. So we're gonna do a somewhat of a minimalist build, but it's gonna be very functional what we want it for you know one or two nights camping out going on trips so if you guys like this type of stuff stick around make sure you click the subscribe button click on that notification bell so you get updates on our next video for this it's going to be fun stick around for the adventures that we do with this thing this year it's going to be sick we'll catch you guys in the next video Good size.